So I think adults go and seek a diagnosis because they notice that they're not being as effective in their lives as they would like to be, or their relationships are really struggling because their partner is saying, hey, can you do these three things? And one thing gets done because they got distracted by something else. Somebody who has ADHD might have symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inattention, or might have some combination of those symptoms. So with hyperactivity, you're gonna see people that are constantly on the go, can't sit still, um, might be somebody who you notice is multitasking all the time. The impulsivity piece comes in when things are happening that might be somewhat risky, um, things that are done without much thought, um, and sometimes kind of getting in trouble for things being too risky and too impulsive. And then the inattention piece is, as it sounds, a real difficulty with focusing and attending to the thing that's right in front of you. So for an adult to have a diagnosis of ADHD, they would have a comprehensive evaluation with a mental health professional, and they'd be asked all sorts of questions about hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inattention, and how those things might affect their personal life, their work life, and other parts of their life. It has to be behavior that's seen in more than one environment, so maybe they're at home, maybe their partner fills out some sort of measure, their boss could fill out a measure, the person fills out a measure, and we do a little comparison to see kind of where things fall out and how people observe that person, how the person observes himself. It is not true that adults can be diagnosed with ADHD for the first time never having had symptoms before. They might get the diagnosis as an adult, but then they look back and realize that they had problems with hyperactivity or impulsivity and or inattention when they were younger in an elementary school. You would go back to childhood, so you would ask about their schooling and how they functioned in school, how they functioned at home, and you would try to put together um, the pieces to, to come up with the diagnosis in that way. There are many co-occurring disorders that, that you'll see with someone who has ADHD. The most common one would be anxiety disorders. Uh, another kind of co-occurring diagnosis with ADHD could be substance use disorders. Um, but you'll see people with uh, ADHD and depression, tic disorders, OCD, those are all kind of um, co-occurring diagnoses that you'll see with someone with ADHD. When adults are diagnosed with ADHD, it is often a sense of like, aha, like this is why school was such a struggle. This is why managing my home is such a struggle. This is why, you know, I've had so much trouble with relationships. It, it almost appears that things are, like the pieces are coming together and they have a, an understanding of what's going on with them. So it appears to be a sense of relief.